been here with Ronnie Lane. Go by Ronnie Night Train Lane. Either way. I listen to you Monday through Friday, 7 to 10, XM Satellite Radio, Channel 175. Ronnie's the Major League Baseball host. Uh, probably has one of the funnest jobs I would imagine that any baseball fanatic would love to have. It is a lot of fun. It's, Ronnie, I mean, it's baseball. Yeah. You know, Ronnie's getting to prepare tonight for some playoff games, um, and he was kind enough to let us come in and do an exclusive for I Never Knew That com. So, some of the questions I'd love to ask Ronnie are: Give us some some things that the viewers or the listeners actually for you that what they don't see, like like what happens if if, uh, if one of the televisions go out, or have you had any situations where you just threw your hands up in the air and said? I don't know what to do. Well, you know, you know that's a good question because uh, during frequent uh, thunderstorms that they have here in the D.C. area in the summertime, we do lose these televisions are all uh, hooked up to a satellite. And you know what happens if you if you have satellite TV when it rains extremely hard, you lose your signal, lose your picture. So we lose the signal from time to time, and the internet is our backup. We mm -hmm. just go online and follow the game as closely as we can. Of course, online. It may be a couple of minutes behind what's actually going on on TV. And the other thing you have to remember is what's on TV is also about 60 seconds behind what's live. There's that big of a delay, particularly with a satellite broadcast, which is what we pick up. So it does present a problem, but you just try and stay on it. And uh, you work with your producers, and you say, it looks like they've got two runners on. When the TV is gone, two runners on, one out, so-and-so's at the plate, and you just jump into the broadcast and... If there are any commercials, you jump right back out. Yeah. But if there's still game action, you just stay with it. So from 7 to 10, how many breaks are you getting? Is it we get three uh, breaks on the 20s, 20, uh, 40, and at the top of the hour. And during those breaks, uh, we update the country on what else is going on, uh, news, injuries, that sort of thing, firings, hirings, that sort of thing. It's a little two-minute, what we call home plate update, around the league every uh, 20 minutes with a home plate home plate update. And there's a guy that sits in this chair or he's in another room or another studio somewhere that uh, handles that. So you you probably had a chance to meet a lot of players oh, yeah. in your career. Oh, yeah. Any fun stories? Of fun stories. People always ask that. Great stories. And then, you know, when they ask you that, you can't think of one right off the gate. And then when you leave, I'll think of about five. <laughs> but uh, uh, I guess um, other announcers I, one night I listened to you, and you, you were telling some great stories about certain voices of announcers and how they, Ken Harrelson, I think, performed. Yeah, and how they call the game. They all have their uh, distinct, uh, different, unique styles. And the guy I grew up idolizing was Jack Buck, who used to call the Cardinals games. That's who I used to listen to as a kid. And, uh, you know, if you're a baseball fan, I'm sure you have a favorite announcer you listened to when you were growing up. Uh, but when you finally meet that person, it's kind of surreal. Oh, yeah. And uh, the way I met him is kind of a funny story. I was actually covering the National Football League in Tampa, covering the Rays, uh, uh, covering the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and someone said, hey, Hall of Fame broadcaster Jack Buck is in the Anheuser-Busch suite. Why don't you go see if you can do a quick interview with him? I said, oh, dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so me and my producer take off, and we get into the Sky Suites, and uh, we finally find the Anheuser-Busch suite, and there he is, Jack Buck, and I'm like, you know, it's like you're star. You're just like starstruck. I can't believe that's Jack Buck standing right over there. Uh, so my producer ap approaches him and says, "Hey, our sideline reporter would like to get a couple of minutes with you if you got time." He goes, "Sure, of course." Just the nicest guy in the world. Wanted to know who I was, uh, you know, where I was born, where I went to school. And you know, to me, I was like, "Wow." He didn't. I mean, even if he really didn't care, he didn't have to ask all of that. Sure. But he wanted to get some sort of a background on me before he talked to me. Have you met his son, Joe? Yes. Joe's been on my radio show in Tampa. He hasn't been on a show here that I can't recall. And uh, I met him uh, uh, met him at a restaurant after an NFL broadcast because our broadcasters knew. Yes, you know, it's a small fraternity of broadcasters. Right. So we're all hanging out and uh, you know grabbing a bite to eat after a Buccaneer game.